A relatively common fault code P0336 indicates that a vehicle is not very good at accurately depicting engine timing. DTC P0336 simply indicates that the engine's crankshaft position sensor is not providing the anticipated timing-related feedback to the electronic control module of your car. The majority of crankshaft position sensors are magnetic and relate to a reluctor wheel that is mounted on the crankshaft. This wheel has many teeth that are pre-positioned at predetermined intervals. The magnetic sensor produces pulses when the crankshaft rotates, and the ECM or PCM of a car interprets these pulses as a speed reading. When a vehicle displays DTC P0336, it means that the PCM or ECM of the vehicle has detected that the crankshaft position sensor is either not giving the expected feedback or is not giving any feedback at all. Keep watching to find out what causes a P0336 code, how serious it is, and how to fix it. Symptoms DTC P0336 frequently has several other symptoms in addition to itself. The overall drivability of a vehicle may be negatively impacted by these symptoms which can range in severity from mild to extremely concerning. The most typical symptoms linked to code P0336 are listed below. Check engine light, difficulty starting, sporadic stalling, engine misfire, erratic idle, decreased fuel efficiency. Causes The P0336 code may result from several underlying conditions. It turns out that some of these conditions are simpler to treat or heal than others. One can repair their vehicle more quickly if they are aware of all possible root causes of DTC P0336. Crankshaft position sensor malfunction, broken or crooked reluctor ring, faulty connection in the circuit wiring, compromised PCM or ECM. How to fix? You can use the following procedures to help identify and fix the underlying cause of diagnostic trouble code P0336. As usual, before attempting any such repairs, make sure to consult the factory-specific service literature for your specific vehicle. Step 1. Check for additional DTCs. Make use of a good scan tool to see if there are any additional fault codes before starting the diagnostic process. Before proceeding, every other fault code needs to be thoroughly diagnosed. Step 2. Inspect crankshaft position sensor. Start by visually inspecting the crankshaft position sensor wiring in your car thoroughly. Examine closely for any evidence of fraying or damage, and for any potential pinch points. Furthermore, it is crucial to ensure that this specific harness is not routed too near to any spark plug wires on an engine, as this could cause interference. Additionally, make sure that there are no corrosion or damage issues with any of the circuit connectors. Step 3. Check Circuit Resistance Resistance exists in crankshaft position sensors by nature. Each vehicle model has a different exact level of resistance featured by a given sensor. Make sure the resistance of the crankshaft position sensor on your car is the same as what the manufacturer recommended using a digital multimeter. Step 4. Inspect reluctor wheel. Remove the crankshaft position sensor from your car and, if necessary, look for indications of damage to the crankshaft's reluctor ring. Carefully inspect the engine by hand, barring it, for signs of damage or compromised teeth. Additionally, there should be no play in a tight fit between the reluctor wheel and the crankshaft. Step 5. Check RPM readings. Check for the presence of a consistent crankshaft position sensor reading with a high-end scan tool. Allow a helper to drive while you watch every piece of data appear. The crankshaft position sensor signal should fluctuate steadily in parallel with any increases or decreases in the vehicle's speed. This signal's irregularities are a sign of problems with the sensor or circuit. Conversely, additional testing of a car's ECM or PCM would be necessary if there were no noticeable problems. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.